I've got a little bit of free time, and so I decided to clean out the request section. I wrote a list of all these requests that you guys have made, and I'm going to be filling those requests in the next three days. Yay! Gotta love having a little bit of free time off. And uh, this in this episode, I'm going to cover the installation of Java on Ubuntu 12.04. And this will work on any Ubuntu-based distribution, and we're going to do that right now, after I roll my cool new intro. Check this out. guys think of that new intro? Pretty cool, hey? Just goes to show what happens when Spatry spends too much time in Blender. Huh. I still have a lot more learning to do, but I think I like the results. I can fly with that for a little while. Okay, installing Java on Ubuntu. Now, there are a lot of PPAs online, and unfortunately, you know, um, some of them just don't really work that well, but I have come to trust the uh, repositories that Web Update Team uh, provides. Now, um, I wanted to keep this nice and simple for all of you newbies out there. I basically opened up a terminal here, and I'm going to issue these three commands into the terminal one at a time. I'm just going to right-click and copy, right-click, paste. All right, and then sudo apt get update. All right, and then finally, and rather than typing all this nonsense in, I'm just copying and pasting because I'm lazy. And uh, sudo apt get install Oracle 7, or Oracle Java 7 installer, my bad. Okay, and then it will go ahead and download and install this thing for us. Okay, now this is telling me that this is returned an error code. However, I'm seeing here that this has actually been installed. We have uh, the console and everything, so let's take a look and make sure that everything installed correctly. I'm just going to try and run one of these and see what we get. All right, now I'm getting frustrated. I've scoured the internet trying to find a way to install uh, Java without getting errors and it just is not working. So it looks like if you want to run Java on Ubuntu you're gonna have to use the uh, open Java runtime and you can also you can get the 7, the 6. I installed these and they installed perfectly. And then you can get the uh, Java web start if you need this I'm assuming this is for your web browser. Let me uh, go into more info here. Oh, yeah, I've been at this for a while, and I'm getting... Uh, so, apparently, um, I don't know what uh, Ubuntu's issue is with uh, Oracle. But at any rate, um, this is a Java web start. So you can be able to use this with your web browser, I imagine, for running Java content and that sort of thing. And then, of course, a web control panel. So, you're going to need to uh, use the open JDKs. I haven't been able to find a solution, but once I do find a solution that works, I will update you guys. So, for the time being, if you absolutely must have Java in Ubuntu or any of its derivatives, I recommend going with the open JDK for right now until uh, somebody comes up with a method for properly installing in Ubuntu because I've tried several different PPAs and several different techniques, even some ethical hacking uh, to try and get this to install the Oracle Java and it just will not behave for me, at least in my uh, virtual environment here. Well, that's all for now. I have more requests to fill, so those will be heading your way. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.